Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to flirt. Five proven techniques that men can't resist. Now, really quickly before I start, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, click the button and also click the bell so you can get new content if you like this video. Also, if you if after this video you go, this resonates with me, this guy makes sense, I want to learn more, then press the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you're interested in speaking to me more um, to help you on your dating, mating, and relating questions. All right, back to our topic, how to flirt, five proven techniques that uh, men can't resist. So where, this, where I'm going to lead this one is a little bit different than most. Um, if you're not familiar with the book, the Five Love Languages, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Uh, I want you to definitely check it out. This happens to be the singles edition. And many of you are familiar with The Five Love Languages. And the, basically the, the gist of The Five Love Languages are how we emotionally connect to another human being. What is our language of love? And each person has a different language of love. So the five love languages are words of affirmation or adoration, because I'm a Leo, words of adoration, uh, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, and gifts. Again, I'm going to say words of affirmation or adoration, <laughs> uh, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, and gifts. So this might surprise you, but that's the direction we're going to head with flirting techniques. And by the way, whether you're a man or woman watching this, this works for both genders. So, um, First off, um, it's good to t go online to take the test to find out what your love languages are because oftentimes when we communicate to another human being on an emotional level, we're speaking our own individual language and most people might have a different language or a different combination of languages. For example, I'm a words of adoration, physical touch and quality time. Those are my top three, words being first, physical touch and quality time. And then acts of service and gifts are kind of low on my list. Whereas someone else, it might be acts of service, it might be words, and it might be gifts. So each person's a little different. So when it comes to flirting, I think what's really important is to first off recognize what your love language is. So if your love language happens to be words, I want you to understand that if you're flirting with a man and you're giving him words, of compliments or adoration, and his is acts of service, he's not really feeling your flirting techniques. Did you hear that? He's not feeling your flirting techniques. So it might behoove you to kind of maybe cover all five bases. So for example, you're on a first or second or third date and you compliment the guy. Now what's interesting about compliments is women typically get a half a dozen compliments a day. Oh my God, what a beautiful purse you have. Oh my God, those leggings are fantastic. Uh, would women say leggings? I don't think you'd use that anymore. That's more of an 80s thing. I love your dress, I love your hair, that sort of thing. Men get zero compliments in a day, zero. So by complimenting a man, hey, you're easy on the eyes, I really love your shirt, you really, you know, something about him, especially his looks, you're much better looking in person. That's a great way to trigger one of his love languages. Even if it's not, it's gonna to register to a man. Now, number two is physical touch. I'll never forget, I had a first date with a woman and we were really hitting it off and we were sitting next to each other having a drink and she was just lightly petting my arm. She was just lightly petting my arm while we we're talking. And oh my God, that was an aphrodisiac to me because my love, second love language is, is touch. So it was like, wow. And there was nothing inappropriate about it. We were having a really great connection and she was just lightly touching my arm. And I witnessed one of my girlfriends do that with her boyfriend, uh, actually on a first, well, I introduced her to a guy, she ended up dating him and I was witnessing on a first date. She was just gently touching his arm. Physical touch, that registers to men. Now, quality time, I think, is really more about being present when you're with someone, being present, being curious. You can be on a first date, and quality time is really being present to what the other person says and being curious to what they have to say. So when I'm on a date with a woman and she goes, gosh, you're a dating coach. What inspired you to do that? You know, what was your, you know, not just your inspiration, but tell me more about that. To me, that's really being present 
and that's quality time. And she's definitely registering when she's being inquisitive and curious about my life. That feels like she's being present. And, and by the way, guys, if you're watching this, you can do the same thing, okay? So just remember that. Now, acts of service. Uh, <laughs> I do remember once I went on a date, a woman, uh, we were sharing a meal, and she just so sweetly started to feed me a little bit. And this was on a first date. I just thought it was cute. She just gave me a little bit of bite of something she had picked up. And I'm like, oh my God, that so resonated with me. I just felt so loved in that moment. And while that, you know, and that was like a little bit of a flirt. I just thought that was so sweet. And lastly, gifts. This is a really tough one, but I'll never forget I had a, again, a first date with a woman. And uh, we went to a restaurant, we went to a bar, and um, I bought the first round of drinks. I paid cash. I, for some reason, I didn't use my credit card to put it down because I, I went to the bar to get a drink. So it was time for our second round. And she goes, I'm going to get that round of drinks for us. And I told her, no, no, I've got it. And she goes, no, I, I'd like to treat. She goes, will you allow me to treat for this round of drinks? And she was being very sweet. She said, would you allow me to treat? I want to share my generosity with you because you were so generous the first round. And boy, not only was that a flirt, I immediately go, she's potential partnership material. She's potential partnership material. By simply saying, I'd like to treat the next round as my gift to you for saying thank you for treating the first round. There's a variety of other gifts, but certainly she was flirting with me. She was making me feel um, like a partner, a team, and that really resonated with me. And while I'm not in relationship with any of those women uh, that I mentioned, they all stood out to me. They all stood out, and we actually still to this day have a friendly relationship with every single one of those women, because while it didn't work out for us, it didn't mean it wasn't a great experience, and that is what I'm so grateful for. So five proven techniques to work. For flirting, check out the five love languages because it might give you some insight on how to flirt with a guy that could be more effective than you ever have done before. Okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you think it's rubbish, if you think I'm full of shit, I want to hear about it. Also, if, if this really resonated with you and you would like to talk to me because you've got a burning question, then click the link below that says one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's see if working with me might be the right thing for you. And again, you simply get on the phone with me and we talk about whether or not a coach works for you. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.